Hello! Welcome to the Fighters of Hell. My name is Deathkill. And it's the horror hell of October. Hello, to the Fighters of Hell. My name is Deathkill. Welcome to the hellish horror of October. Yes. October, the best holiday. It's when Halloween comes out. And I was born into Deathkill. I am the devil. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. You're probably wondering what is this hellish horror of October? Let's just say this is the best month yet because of Halloween. And who doesn't love a little scare once in a while? <laughs> Basically, what will be happening is I'll only be producing horror content, and this is gonna happen every October. Because October brings the joy in me. So. Without further ado, let's bring Hellish Tops back in this game. <laughs> Top 10 Urban Legends. Number 10 Slender Man. I think we've all heard of this. A tall figure who can grow tentacles. Yes. Very creepy. But what's most creepy about him? He'll stalk you. He's completely white. He has no face. He's very, very tall. He can drag you down to hell, or he'll stalk you forever if you ever see him. You'll be lucky if you don't. Just don't go in the woods. We don't know why, but he seems to like children the most. Rumor has it that he drowns his children in the river and takes their souls when, they dr when he drowns them. Scary, right? Number 9. Jeff the Killer. So, Jeff was with his older brother. Just walking on the sidewalk, right? Ordinary. But, some boys came along. And, attacked them. His brother tried to protect them. You know. His brother just fought back, maybe caused some stab wounds. And, well, let's just say his brother tried to protect Jeff and went to jail. Later on, Jeff went to a birthday party. The bullies were there. They burned the place. And they also burned Jeff's face. Later on, his mom heard noises coming from the bathroom. When she went up and opened the door, she saw Jeff with a knife cutting a smile and cutting off his eyelids so he could have a permanent smile and never go to sleep. So on screamed, tried to get her husband to get the gun to shoot Jeff. And Jeff stabbed his mom and his dad, and later on his brother. Now, you better be careful. If you see him, the last words you, you'll ever hear are, Go to sleep. Number 8. Ben Drowned. We've all heard of Zelda Majora's Mask. Yes. But have you ever seen one without a cover? Basically, this guy bought Zelda Majora's Mask. Weirdly, there is no picture showing or anything. He 
just put it in his Nintendo 64. There was already a saved file named Ben. Well, whatever. He played on another file. But for some weird reason, it was still playing on Ben's file. It was like a hacked version of this game. He found out that the guy who played Ben beat the whole game. It was weird. When he tried to make a new file, he started playing, and everything was glitchy. Then there was this statue that kept on following him. Whenever he saw this guy with all the masks, he had a creepy face. The guy with the mask kept on saying, You've met with a terrible fate, have you? Later on, he soon discovered that there was another file that said drowned. And all this led to him finding out Ben drowned. Number 7 Tales Doll Curse. Who here remembers Sonic R? <laughs> I do. It was the worst game ever. I hated it. So, apparently, there's this thing online where it said you can lock Tails Doll with Super Sonic. It was weird, but we tried it out. Thing is, we didn't know the consequence. As soon as we unlocked Tail Doll, we tried playing as him. But then a weird thing came on the TV screen. It looks like a Tails Doll with blood everywhere. It was weird. And the TV just turned off. We heard a knocking on the door. So we chose to open it. And there was this bloody Tails Doll. We picked it up. My friend chose to bring it inside. We washed it off and we went back upstairs to start playing. My friend had to use the bathroom, so. But I heard a scream. And his body was all bloody. He was dead. And the tail was there, in his blood. I tried to grab my dad's shotgun. I tried shooting it. But Tails doll killed me and my friend. And that was the last people ever saw of us. Number six. Squidward's suicide. So, this day started off like this. Me and the rest of the crew were just joking around and making some SpongeBob episodes, having fun. We include little jokes every time Ben and Bear. But then we got this weird CDC saying Squidward suicide. We thought it was a joke, so we chose to play it. Started off normal, everything great. The bubbles came up. Squidward yelled at SpongeBob because he was trying to practice for a show he was going to do. Cut to the show. He starts playing his clarinet, bad as usual. But that's not where the difference occurred. It occurred when the whole crowd was booing, and then. Spongebob and Patrick were also booing him. Normally they would be enthusiastic, right? And sooner, everything went weird. The crowd grew hyper blood realistic eyes. Everyone was crying. Later on, it was at his house. Squidward's crying. And he looked at these pictures. We had to rewind to see what they were. There were a mangled boy's body. The second picture was the mangled girl's body. The third picture was just corpses everywhere. And he grew 
hyper realistic eyes, and we kept on hearing this laughing in the background. And finally, a voice said, Do it. And Squidward shot himself. Number 5 Sonic.exe. There's this weird game I found. I just thought I ordered a regular Sonic game. I bought it, started playing it, and we were at the title screen. I pressed the pause button to get into the game, like you usually do, but nothing weird happened. An instant flash of a picture lasted like two seconds. There was blood right on the ocean where the white was supposed to be with sonic eyes and the blue turned into black and his pupils were blood eyes just weird and the screen showed up for tails knuckles eggman i was curious so i started playing with tails we were just walking along and then sooner we kept on finding dead Squirrels and animals everywhere. We found Sonic. As soon as we touched him, we went to a different stage area. He started chasing us. There were flames in the background. We tried getting away, but he caught up to us. He killed Tails. Then next was Knuckles. Then Dr. Eggman. And soon, Screen flash saying, I am God. Number 4, 1999. As a kid, I loved to watch TV. And since I bothered my dad about it, he bought me my own TV. It wasn't really like the regular TV, so it was like a kid's TV. I only had like 20 channels, then one time I went on at 21. And I kind of liked watching Mr. Spoon and the bear. It's kind of weird. Whenever I watch Mr. Bear, he just heard a knocking on his door. And he would invite children in. And I just thought they were having fun. But then it started getting weirder and weird. And I saw stabbing hands, running with scissors. It was so strange. I thought this was a regular TV show. But little did I know, he was murdering children. And soon I got invite. I was like, sure, I didn't know that he did this. I just figured it out now. I went over there with my dad, then a policeman showed up asking what am I doing here. I said I got an invite from him. He said not to go because Mr. Bear was murdering children. Number three, the rake. One night, I was with my husband, sleeping in the bed, and I heard a noise that woke me up. I thought I saw a huge, hairless dog with claws for hands. I tried shaking my husband to wake him up. He was, par he was petrified. I think he made a noise and then just started running away. He went to a children's room. I tried chasing after it, but when I got there, my children's body was mangled up. Just a corpse. My child's last word was, he is the rake. Number two. The man in the back. I've been hearing a rumor go around. 
It's kind of weird. It got me freaked out. Well, here's what's happening. The rumor is, if you're driving, there could be a man in the back of your seat planning to kill you or something. One time, this woman was driving to a gas station. She pulled down her window, like you're supposed to do. Gave the credit card to the man, but the man said, Your car's expired. Can I see you in the front? She got out of the car. And the man said, There's a man in the back. We're gonna call the cops and lock the doors. She didn't believe him. So she hit him off, took her credit card, and he tried to yell at her again, saying, There's a man in the back of your car! But she didn't listen. She got in, started the ignition. He tried to get back to her. But she drove off. Finally, he yelled, There's a man in the back seat! Little did she know, when she looked in the Mirror, she saw the man, and he swung an axe and chopped her head off. And there she was, dead, the next day. Number one, the hook. So I was with my girlfriend, you know, on those honeymoons. We were gonna make out, probably fuck, have some sex. But... Then, there was something in the radio announcement talking about a murdering man on the loose and to not let your children out in the woods late. We were in the woods on our honeymoon. I tried to continue on trying to do the things I was going to do to her. But then she screamed at me, pushed me off, and told me to drive her home. We started driving, and when we finally got to her house, she got out and screamed. I thought it was weird. I opened the door, tried to see what was wrong, but I went next to her and looked at the door. There was a bloody hook on the handle of the car. Well, that's my creepy stories for today. <laughs> Tell me, what are your favorite urban legends? I find these to be amusing. <laughs> well, you already know what to do. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the social media down below. And remember, you better watch out, because there might be a killer on the loose. <laughs> or it could just be me looking for you looking for blood <laughs> and the devil after all we're going Halloween style and I love the sound of you screaming and I love blood <laughs> As per usual, leave a comment down below telling me what's your favorite urban legend. And I hope you guys love this hellish horror of October. This will be going on for every other October that I'm in as long as as I'm alive. <laughs> well then. I would love to stay in chat. But I have some people to murder. <laughs> yeah. Without further ado. See you later. Creatures of the dark.